Far away, guys. Norm, what do you what do you do with the two different halves tonight? Obviously, a pretty good start, and then second half looked a little different. Yeah, we got a little ragged. Um, the ball stopped moving as quick. Defensively, we got kind of out of whack a little bit and uh, didn't guard as well. We had a spurt there where we guarded and those things, but sometimes when when you got a lead like that, that's that's going to tail off and, and everything. I was I was really proud of the guys in the first half and how they played and attacked, and everybody gave us good minutes and, and we knew there could be somewhat of a letdown in the second half. We did. The, the the way that Pitt State exhibition started, I mean, is that something that lingers? I know this is how you want your guys to start games, but do you think that's still in their minds of, of that being fresh and... Starting off slow, you mean? Correct, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think we want to start off slow. I think sometimes we, we have and just, you know, and a lot of it is, you know, sometimes maybe shot selection and not letting the ball move a little bit and everything, but you know, our defense needs to be our mainstay. We need to guard and we, you know, I think we're doing a pretty good job as of right now scoring off of our defense. What'd you make of MJ and, and his debut? I thought he was terrific. I thought he was terrific. I thought his energy level was great. I thought he tried to guard, move his feet, and, and then he really got out in transition. You know, MJ, MJ can really, really score. Mm -hmm. He can score at all three levels and he's strong, he's physical. And, you know, he's going to be a really, really good player. He, he said he knew he was going to play. Did you decide that today? Did you tell him today? Did no, he know no, yesterday? We, we knew he was going to play. Okay. We knew he was going to play and, and everything. And I know he was excited about getting out there. Norm, Zach took a pretty good shot to the face. At that one point, I don't think he came back to the bench. How is he doing? Uh, he's doing okay. Uh, it's probably a, a facial nasal uh, injury and everything. He's going to be okay. Here's Norm, from your perspective, the connection between Ernest and Bobby, have you seen that kind of progress during Ernest's first few months here? Yeah, it's gotten better and better. You know, the, the thing we keep telling Ernest is, Ernest is a great rim runner. He is an average screener. If he can put the screening to the rim running, he's gonna be really, really good because he can get out of a ball screen fast, but he's gotta make sure he makes contact when he screens. And sometimes he worries more about getting out of it but I thought tonight he did a better job of that, and our guys really found him a couple of times. And is it important to have a dynamic like that with two guys coming off the bench in those type of moments? Yeah, I think because you know Juan's got great chemistry with Ernest too. So and and then we got I think we got a lot today with KJ as well. So so uh, uh, you no, know, those are things that we work on every single day. But when when the bench can come in and give us that type of energy and push and that stuff, it just makes our team so. I know you and, and Coach Self have talked about what, what you need, what you expect from Jalen. Um, what, what do you say about his first two games as far as, you know, kind of being the leader in the face and the, and the alpha guy on this yeah, team? He's, he's been terrific. Him and him and Juan have been terrific as leaders and getting the guys going and making sure we're focused and, and doing the things that we have to do to, to, to win the game. And, and both of those guys have been tremendous. You know, Jalen's going to have a really good year. It, it, is it important for him to, to – do what he's been doing, those the starts, looking for his shot, trying to get himself going so that everybody else can maybe settle in a little bit. Yeah, we want him to be aggressive yeah. at all times. You know, obviously, we want Grady to be aggressive. You know, we want all our guys to be, but, but yeah, we need Jalen to be aggressive at all times. Going through the roster, uh, Joe knocked down two threes in a long two, I think. Is he coming along? What do you think of his effort tonight? I, I thought he was terrific. First half, Joe gave us energy. God, he looked fast. He looked fast. And, and, and before the game, we had talked, coach talked to the guys about what would you rather have? Would you rather have speed or size? And we'll take speed any day. Speed beats size. It makes size do funny things. And we looked really, really fast in that first half. And, and I think it caught them off guard because those two big kids are really, really good players. And it caught them off guard, and they were never really on balance for the rest of the game. Does Zuby give so much energy you're comfortable putting him in at yeah. any moment? Yeah, Z Zuby, Zuby goes after every ball. He's got, he's, got great, he's got a great knack to go rebound. He just has a feel for the ball, and, and he's getting better and better all the time. How do you feel about the guys not looking past the first two opponents with Duke coming up? And what are your early thoughts on the Duke game? Well, with our guys, we're just trying to get better, trying to get better as a team all the time. And uh, we told the guys, it's not about who we're playing, you know what I'm saying? And they are good teams, 
but we're talking about how we can improve as a basketball team. How can we improve defensively, offensively, rebounding? All I said, we're, we're still a long way from where we're going to be and where coach wants us to be. Uh, we're gaining on it. We're getting better. And, you know, just, just like in the Duke game, the Duke game will be a lot of fun. But, you know, we, we, we've had situations, guys, when we played in that classic and we played great and had good years, and we've had games where uh, times when we played in that classic and played awful, and then going to the Final Four, you know, and that stuff. So it, it, it's a great atmosphere to play in. It's great for our guys to enjoy that and compete at a very, very high level, but it's not a make or break game. But, but our guys are excited about it, and they should be. What, what, what does that game do for these freshmen that, that have, you know, played here twice now, but, but they get to go step onto that stage for the first time and experience that? I mean, what, what can they gain from it, and, and do you think they're all ready for it? Um, I think what they gain from it is, hey, here comes big boy ball. Mm -hmm. This is big boy ball right here. you got to be ready for a big-time atmosphere you're playing against. Guys that have the same dreams, aspirations that you have, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of these kids have played against each other before, yeah. so they all know each other as well. So I think it's just being in that type of a, a you know NCAA tournament type atmosphere, and uh, it'll be exciting for our guys. All right, thanks, coach.